Hey guys, welcome back. I just got back from my fatty fat clinic right now. Like I literally just walked in the door. So I thought I would do a week four weight loss update. I gotta say it's going super bad. Like, <sighs> I, I want to give up, but I'm not going to give up, but I super want to quit. Um, everybody else is losing massive amounts of weight. And in the first week, you're supposed to lose, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds because it's just such a dramatic change. I lost like four like just under four, and then it's supposed to go down from there. So there is a people in the class that have lost 50 pounds so far, 55, oh, in one month. Other people lost, you know, 35, 37. Everyone has lost over 20, except me, this girl right here. As of today, I've lost 12 pounds on Optifast. And what Optifast is, is a shake only program. You have to have a prescription here in Canada to be on it. It um, gives you all the nutrients and vitamins and minerals and everything you need in a day with only 900 calories. So you have four shakes a day, only 900 calories. Um, I'm not hungry at all. And I, I feel more energized, which is awesome. My skin looks a little bit better. I'm just, I'm generally feeling a lot better. I don't have that ravenous feeling that I would get, you know, I would get lightheaded and I would, I would feel almost hypoglycemic like I had to eat, I'd get the shakes and everything. That's completely gone. So I'm going to assume that's like sugar or carbohydrates that was causing that, but I'm not seeing any weight loss, really. I mean, I am, I've seen weight loss, but I'm not seeing it as dramatic as I thought or as dramatic as everyone else. And I talked to my doctor, I'm like, what the deuce, buddy? Like, why am I not losing weight? I said it really politely though. And he did a bunch of blood tests and basically what they came back at, they did a bunch of tests and my resting metabolic rate is really low and my you know my blood pressure is really low excuse me um my everything's low just my body temperature was like 95 today they keep testing it it was like 95 today it's supposed to be 98.6 so i'm sort of like hibernating my body thinks that i'm hibernating everything's just moving really slow. My hair's not growing, so it's falling out like it normally would, but it's not growing back. Um, same as my eyebrows. I'm just um, really having symptoms of someone who's hypo, has um, hypothyroid, which I was tested and I do have, but I've been on medication for a really long time and I keep upping my medication, but I'm not getting rid of the symptoms. So I'm trying some new thyroid from a pig or something. <laughs> it's like a natural dissected thyroid. It's actually the gland from the animal. So I'm trying that. Um, I have a meeting with like a referral for a specialist, an endocrinologist, a specialist. Hopefully we can try something else. Um, at this point though, it's pretty much you know, maybe just me. Maybe I just run slower. I always thought that having a slower metabolism was a myth. I always thought, you know, that they just, you didn't work out as much or you ate too much or something, but I'm really starting to learn that even though I didn't have the best diet, it's not a myth. People have slower metabolisms, metabolisms than other people. Someone my size, my resting metabolic rate, so like if I did nothing else but just like slept all day, should be around 2,000. When in reality, it's about 1,000. So when they did all this test, I had to drink and run, and I did blood tests, my, best mesti my resting metabolic rate is like half of what it should be. So that's sad. I'm sad for me, but what can you do, right? It's sort of like being given a diagnosis of diabetic, you have to take insulin, if I had some other, you know, medical problem, I would have to do something. If I was allergic to dairy, I could never eat cheese again, sort of thing. Now I know that I have a slow metabolism. Now I know that I can't have, you know, high sugar and and simple carbohydrates. I can't have high calorie foods because I, my body just, I can't, I can't do it. So I'm happy actually that I, that it's giving me answers. I'm happy to find out medically that I really just have an extremely slow metabolism. And it's not just that I ate way too much or I was a pig or I wasn't exercising enough because even when I was really small, I had to work so hard. I was in my early 20s. I had to run like 10K a day and I measured all my food and I took like weight loss drugs and still I, I was like 120 pounds, but I still had to like 
fight to be small. And so um, I don't want to do that. I'm just like, I'm okay with all this. I'm okay with it. So I'm going to keep up with the program. I uh, lost 12 pounds, like I said, uh, as of right now for one month. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to just change the way I eat. I may have to be that person that has to stay under 1200 calories forever. It's probably likely and still work out in order to even just maintain. So now that I have that information, I'm going to go forward and I'll keep you guys posted as it goes. Who knows? Maybe they'll come up with some magic pill I can take that I'll like fix my broken metabolism. I'm sure all of you will have a ton of advice for me and um, I'll read it. I probably won't take any of it with anything more than a grain of salt, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't be offended. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna see what happens. So anyways, thanks so much and I'll see you next time.